Guys, before this episode starts, I have to say, uh, this video, this episode really sucked. I'm sorry, I know that. It is really early in the morning, um, and I, I've been working like crazy nonstop, and I just had to get a, do a review, and I was just kind of scattered brain because I'm thinking about a bunch of other pro or a, a big project that I'm working on right now for, uh, for a client, so um, I'm sorry. Tomorrow will be back to normal, but I just had to come out before this, and you can skip this episode if you want. All right. Okay, today's movie review is all about Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Did you hear the voice crack? Um, first off, this movie was, like, very interesting. Um, and it's a little... I'm trying to find a way to describe it. It's like you're watching a movie being made, which I love. I love watching behind the scenes on YouTube. I love that stuff. But you're also watching like the movie while it's done, kinda. Um, like you're like there's some scenes where uh, there, there's parts in there where they would do like dialogue and they'll go like cut. And uh, and then they'll reset the cameras and do it again, which is like cool to see that. Um, and it, it and again, if you didn't know, I'm kind of all over the place. Sorry about this, but um, it's a Quentin Tarantino film. Um, but it was really cool to like see a movie being made while watching the movie. Um, I've I don't think I've ever seen something like that. I know there's parts in movies like that, but I don't think there's a whole movie about it. Um, and it was cool that it took place in the 60s, like, I, I really liked the movie Argo, and when they had to do that whole Hollywood thing in the 60s, it kind of reminded me a little bit of that, just in terms of, like, the, the time era, I mean, the both of the 60s. And I, uh, I, I honestly think it's between this movie and 1917 for, for the winner of Best Picture. Um, um, but, but one thing I do have to say about the movie, I mean, it was a great movie. Um, that it, it was a little like like stuff happened in the movie. Like like things were going on, obviously, but it never really like, resolved. It never really went anywhere. It kind of was slow, which I you know I like some Tarantino films, and sometimes they're a little more action packed. And this one lacked that a little bit, which is fine. Not not not. You know, and and along with the lines of like it didn't really go anywhere. Um, uh, there, when I watch a movie, at least I like to have like conflict and stuff. Like to, 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 not in my life, but like to watch. <laughs> um, and there's parts of this movie that like lacked that conflict tension feeling, um, which which is fine. Um, but I feel like in a movie that takes place in the '60s. Like, I've done some research just, uh, aside from, like, the movie Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, but, like, Hollywood in that era, is I wanted it there to be a little bit more... Uh, tension. <laughs> um, but, um, I think I'm gonna make this video mo less as of a review, as more of, like, what I think compared to, like, 1917, for example. Because I think both of those videos... I think both of those movies... Are, are are like tied right now in my mind. Uh, I could see 1970. I could see 1917 totally winning Best Picture. The way it was shot, the color correction, production value, everything. Like really think it, it deserves it. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood also like the color correction is really cool. I, I've been into like more like you know. Looking at every aspect, color correction to me wasn't a big deal until I actually saw like good color correction, like Parker's. And now I'm like, I, I you know, I like the crisp, the crispness of the shots. Um, anyways, I really liked the the color correction. I liked the the, the cinematography style in this. Um, it's it's a toss up. It's a big toss up. Um, what what do you guys think? I'm actually gonna put a poll in this video so so you guys can pick 1917 or Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Um, and I yeah, 
I think I think this movie might take it. But um, guys, I'm sorry this review sucked today. Um, it currently is 2:40. It is currently 2:24 in the morning. I've been working nonstop like crazy on some other business stuff. Um, I need to sleep and wake up tomorrow for more business stuff. And uh, I know. Tristan and or Parker's taking over a few of the the, few of the the vlogs this week to review what they thought about some of the movies So it's not just my take in these short videos um, But I'll see you tomorrow. I'm sorry this, this video sucked. I'm sorry. It was like really short But I do think this movie will take it or 1970 will, 1917 might win but this the, again just to recap I like the cinematography in this I like how it was a movie about making a movie it and it was a movie um and I love Quentin Tarantino. I think this might take it. All right, see you tomorrow. Pull this damn kids on the street. You and me, we could kick it all weekend. Baby, no sleep. Speak about whatever till the sun was in the sky. Swimming naked in the ocean while the sky was falling open. Hoping you would fuck me on the beach on my back seat. Listening to rap, so fancy. And every time you leave.